crowding out and squeeze the balloon. These are two dynamics related to energy supply competition. More of one thing, less of another. Less of one thing, then you get more of another. Let's go look at crowding out first in En-ROADS. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna encourage renewable energy with us uh, subsidies. So watch the green area expand as we subsidize renewable energy, more renewable energy. That's the primary impact. And you could talk about that and explore that. People may ask though, wait, something else happened in another area. So I want you to start looking at some of these secondary or, or system-wide impacts. Well, the first one that we really hope is that it's crowding out coal. So let's go look and see. I'm gonna go look at coal primary energy demand and you can see the blue line. Yep, we're getting with renewables less coal. That's one of the main reasons that we're seeing the drop to 3.4 degrees, keeping that 0.2 degrees out of the temperature. Also natural gas, it's crowding out natural gas. Now it's also crowding out other zero carbon energy, in this case, nuclear. That's the dynamic of crowding out. More of one thing, less of others. And it happens between most all of these supplies. Of course, not when they're not in competition. Like we're not gonna see less crowding out of oil because they're not in direct competition between wind and solar and oil. Now where it gets tricky is how this dynamic really runs up against one of the main misunderstandings of competition in the energy sector. Let me give you a little demonstration here. Let's look at the contribution of renewables. We just saw that it brought temperature down 0 0.2 degrees. 3.6 went down to 3.2. You see the number over on the right. 3.6 goes down to 3.4, 0.2. Okay, well, what about now the contribution of nuclear? 0.1 degree, 3.6 goes to 3.5. Get rid of that. And a new zero carbon energy, such as thorium, thorium fission. 3.6 goes to 3.4. So we had 0.2, and then the second one did 0.1, and the third one did 0.2. Well, one would think, and many people in your workshops or your games, or maybe you think, add the three up. 0.2 plus 0.1 plus 0.2 is 0.5. We're gonna get half a degree if we do all three together, right? These are wedges that just add up and keep more carbon out of the atmosphere. Let's try this one, renewables, but here comes crowding out, more nuclear, less renewables, more zero carbon. The green wedge, see the green wedge there shrink, less wind and solar if we have more new zero carbon energy. Look over on the right and we get 0.3 degrees. Your mental model, purely additive, without crowding out, says 0.5. With crowding out, only 0.3. You can see that effect. Okay, the second dynamic, which is the same, but in reverse. It's called squeeze the balloon. You take an old balloon and you squeeze it. Part of it shrinks. Part of it expands. So let's explore that here in En-ROADS. Uh, it really shows up um, in an experiment here with less coal. So imagine we're gonna really have a lot less coal. We're gonna ban new coal infrastructure starting in 2025. Here it comes, watch that green wedge, excuse me, the brown wedge shrink, a lot less coal. Coal goes down, but you have to ask, that's the primary effect. What is the secondary effect? Why did we only get 0.2 degrees you'd th or 0.3? You'd think it'd be a bigger impact. Well, that demand for energy goes somewhere. We'd love it to go towards zero carbon energy, such as renewables, and we do get more renewables. See the blue line depart from the black, but some of it also just goes over to more natural gas, another fossil fuel. That's the squeeze the balloon. Solve a problem here, it pops up somewhere else. This is an example in systems thinking and system dynamics of a compensating feedback. Push the system here, it responds and undoes your, uh, the effect of your actions by some feedback in another part of the system. All right, two dynamics, crowding out, squeeze the balloon related to competition. More of less, more, less of one thing, 
more of another, and in reverse. Hope this is really helpful as you understand the model and explain it to others. Go get them.